eagle eyes, their golden eyes, they fly real high up in the sky. They will eat whatever they see move down below because their eyesight is like no other animal that's been introduced to the wild or any other for that matter. Like I was saying, they'll eat every fucking thing in their way. Such as mice, typical field mice and rabbits and whatnot. Things, Pomeranians maybe in a backyard that they so happen upon. Cause they might be in the city that day. Cause maybe some loggers were making too much noise cutting down trees. So they decided for a change of scenery. And as their wings got to flapping, they got on some wind drift that took them into the city. And they just spent a little too much time there and got hungry and decided to sit up in a tree, look down below, and happen to see Pomeranian in the backyard yelping at the neighbor's cat that he'll never be able to get because he's not big enough for it anyway. And he knows that, and the cat knows that too, and the cat knows that this happens to be one of like only five dog breeds that won't attack it on a given notice. It's just yelping at its mouth as the eagle with its amazing eyesight looks down at the Pomeranian and decides to leave the tree to go get it. And at the same time, the cat lurched for the Pomeranian to swipe it. And then the eagle happens to get a two for one at Wendy's, but not expensive. It's free. Sometimes you can get a free one from Wendy's too. If you're a coupon collector and happen to cut coupons from the newspaper, like my wife does, she tries to get me to do it, but I don't understand the concept. Sometimes I'd rather have organic jelly rather than great value brand if you're at Walmart, but then if you're at Hannaford, it's Hannaford brand, but then if you're at Shaw's, it's signature brand, probably. But back to the story, the eagle got a two for one with the cat and the Pomeranian. Now he's gonna go gut them with his talons when he gets back to the wilderness. And he's gonna have something real good to bring back to his two nestlings up in the tree. Probably Douglas Fir, if he's in the Intermountain West Mountains, from there to the Oregon coast, down to California. But there in the Big Sur, it turns to Sequoia. Then after that, it's Redwoods. But that eagle probably wouldn't want to be down that that far cause he'd rather be in the intermountain west um, chain of mountains because they have wild berries that grow there which happen to be huckleberries and you won't find huckleberries anywhere else. Huckleberries are good to eat after you've eaten guts from a cat and a Pomeranian. If you wash them down with river water, which happens to be the Yellowstone River, because like I mentioned before, it was Intermountain West chain of mountains that this eagle came from so I choose that he's in Montana which is about to be sold to Canada 
Well, that's what they're saying on all the news feeds. If you're CBS, Fox News, CNN, ABC, even Facebook, Twitter, and Snapchat. But that eagle doesn't have none of those. So back to what I was saying. His nestlings are gonna eat real good tonight. Probably. But that's my golden eagle song.